Hi guys, so I did another, I'm here for another update. So what I left off was, so I didn't have endometriosis. I went back for my consultation. Um, I'm not pregnant, just to start that off. Well, not that I know of. <laughs> but uh, I went back for my consultation with my doctor, follow up, post-op. And we talked about doing IUI. So... Um, we did. So I just finished IUI number three this month. Um, so today is six days past IUI. Excuse me. Six days post IUI. And, you know, I'm feeling good. Uh, I just wanted to come and try to record some thoughts. So I'm not as anxious as I was before. As my previous IUIs, I was very anxious. Um, I tested out trigger and I did all that. So this IUI, I don't even have any pregnancy tests in the house, which is good. And I don't plan on testing until the day before uh, my miss period, which would be 14 days past ovulation. And... Um, yeah, so even my doctor's office, they don't even draw blood until you get a positive home pregnancy test, which I find is odd. They do a lot of things strange. So let me tell you about the protocol here, different, which is different from the last time. So last time I had... Last time I had an IUI, they said don't have sex up to five days prior to this time they wanted me to have intercourse before the IUI after I trigger well during this the same day that I trigger and I was like wow that's different because the last time I didn't do that and this cycle is different because the previous two cycles I did Femera, Femara and I did injectables, both past IUIs. Um, this IUI, I did Clomid, my first time on Clomid. And I didn't really have very many side effects other than, you know, I was always a little moody. Um, dryness, uh, it can cause vaginal dryness. So I did experience some of that stuff. Um, but I'm glad she did because another difference between this IUI and the previous two IUIs, I had three mature follicles, all over 20 um, millimeters, millimeters, I think that's what it is. So all of them were over 20 millimeters. Uh, I think one was like 21, 22, 23. So they were all back to back. And um, my previous two IUIs, uh, I just had one, and one of them I had maybe two, but they weren't that close in size, but they were over 15 millimeters. Um, so I'm excited to have three um, because I did learn something new today from like Google. So sometimes, I know follicles, sometimes follicles, all follicles don't contain eggs. So like as many, as few as 50%, of your follicles could be empty. I didn't know that. And so, um, being that I had three mature follicles, that increases my chances of having an egg <laughs> that comes out. So, and then, so, and I also learned that your estradiol levels also determine how many follicles will, um, will um release an egg i think they said about 200 or so uh however is measured on estradiol 200 or so or greater so you need about 200 for every follicle to release and actually i didn't even ask what my estradiol levels were but um sometimes a cycle can be canceled when you have three but probably looking at my history in the past eight years of trying to conceive my husband and I have yet to conceive 
yet to have any pregnancies. We haven't had any miscarriages. Um, so I guess they figured three follicles, then, you know, the chances of her having triplets are not as likely as someone who's gotten pregnant in the past. Um, and I'm, I don't know. I know when I first got my estradiol level drawn on cycle day three, it was like 53. And then so they drew it again on cycle day 12. But I don't know what, the, what that number was. They didn't tell me. They just, they didn't tell me what it was. Then I went back on, I went back on cycle day four, cycle day 14 for my IUI. My husband came, he provided his specimen and they did the IUI. I triggered uh, 36 hours before and then they did the IUI that afternoon about 11 o'clock. It was actually 36 and a half hours. We were actually delayed, well actually it was 37 hours because we were delayed um, an hour because of my husband. <laughs> so he, he just, he was just taking his time I guess. He was having a little trouble. But um, yeah, so here we are, so, uh, six days past IUI, I haven't felt any um, symptoms, anything, but I'm definitely not stressing. I'm trying to wear socks. I don't have any socks on right now, but I have a blanket over my, foot, my feet. I'm trying to keep my feet warm and... Um, I just went and bought a pineapple today. So I just started eating the pineapple with the core slice today. Um, I've done that before too. Uh, very first IUI and um, it didn't help me. So, but I just figured, hey, can't hurt. Didn't hurt. So um, I'm doing it again this cycle. And I didn't do it the second IUI. Because I figured it didn't help um, the first time. So um, I'm doing it this time. What else? What else? Um, oh, something strange about this IUI. My doctor did not perform my IUI. Which the last two IUIs were performed by the same doctor. And she actually performed them. She did the IUI. This IUI was performed by a nurse who had been working at the hospital for, well, since April. So, and I was like, oh, so have you seen a lot of success stories with IUIs and everything? And she was like, oh, I've seen a few. I might have been our first patient or something. <laughs> or like if I... If, you know, I was just thinking that I was like, what? why would she say she's seen a few? Like, um, yeah, so I was like, oh, you've seen a few. You've been here since April. It's November now. And then maybe the doctor was supposed to be in there. And, you know, she decided since my husband took his time providing the, the, the sample, the specimen, the sperm, then, you know, maybe she was behind. But I thought that was weird. And another weird thing, when I did my ultrasound on cycle day 12, um, the doctor wasn't in there or nurse. It was just the ultrasound tech who did not tell me what the sizes were. She just typed them on the screen and I could see what they were but she didn't say oh here's one he, she didn't really say anything um then the nurse came in after the lab technician had done it she's like oh you got three follicles but she never she never told me what size they were or anything so I thought that strange but we'll see I keep you updated stay tuned thanks for watching bye